What you see here looks like a nice green crop of grass or grazing for cattle. But look a little closer. Parthenium is classed as a noxious weed. It's an introduced plant, a pest to agriculture, a threat to animals, and increasingly a health threat to humans. Well, it looks different depending on its stage of growth. The first stage is the seedling, pretty much like any other seedling, but it has soft, furry leaves. Then there's the rosette, where the plant lies flat and close to the ground. The early growth stage is when the plant starts to shoot upwards, followed by full growth with small creamy white flowers. At this stage, the plant can be one to one and a half metres tall. When growing, Parthenium may be small and compact, or tall and bushy, may be found as a single plant or a colony of plants grouped together or as a large mass. In fact, anywhere there is a bare piece of ground, large or small, Parthenium will grow. Once a sensitivity or allergy is established, then each time contact occurs with the offending or sensitising substance, in this case Parthenium, the person reacts by sneezing, itching, watery eyes, nose and so on. In fact, all the symptoms of an allergic response. How you react to Parthenium depends on your individual makeup. Well, I, when I first come to Clermont in 25, 26 years ago, I had no allergies. I've never had hay fever. I wasn't an asthmatic. I am now. Some people may develop contact dermatitis with reddening, irritation and itching of the skin. The most frequent symptoms in central Queensland are conjunctivitis, hay fever, itching and irritation of the nose, mouth and eyes. Asthmatics especially may start coughing and wheezing at night. To start with my eyes water, I get tight in the chest, I get um, hay fever, sneezing. Um, I actually, my skin on my forehead and will peel. When I come in contact with bithenium, um, the primary reaction would be to have a rash on my hands in between my fingers and around my muzzle, if you like to call it that, and in my nose, and then around my eyes. Mm. And then um, if that was in the morning when I was in the garden, then that night, which is considerable hours later, say eight or ten hours later, I probably have asthma. More importantly, if you already have allergies of any nature, then the chances are you're at risk of developing sensitivity to parthenium weed, which may be followed by an allergic reaction. My eldest daughter uh, used to come home and then go, go back to uh, the cities and uh, she'd um, have uh, respiratory problems and uh, the doctors say, you know, you've got to be going to a national park and she never ever told them that home was a, a cattle station. Now normally, Allergy reactions to plants are usually triggered off by contact with pollen or seeds. However, with parthenium, all parts of the plant, including stem, root, flowers and leaves, may initiate the allergy response and reaction process. At Moranbar we had an abattoir there that we were uh, buying livestock in and we got parthenium come onto our, on the property that we were using as the abattoir and it was taking over and uh, we started spraying it and uh, I found that uh, one night after I'd been spraying the parthenium and got home and in the middle of the night I couldn't breathe and it was the most frightening thing I've ever, ever had, that uh, throat chogged up and I just couldn't breathe. Unfortunately, once an allergy to parthenium has developed, it's there for life. At the moment, there isn't any treatment for allergic reactions to parthenium weed, nor is there a cure. All that can be done is to treat the symptoms. The potential points of contact with parthenium are anywhere and everywhere there has been land degradation, overgrazing or soil disturbance. On roadsides, especially at the edges where seeds have been dropped from passing vehicles, soil moisture promotes germinations. In paddocks, where overgrazing or land degradation has enabled the weed to establish a colony. Watering points where stock drink. Parthenium seed carried by the stock congregating around the water drops on the bare ground and subsequently germinates around houses, buildings and shops. Usually in this case, the plant parts are carried on clothing, shoes, equipment or vehicles, they land on the ground and germinate. In gardens carried in by friends, children and pets. 
on sports fields, especially close to bushland or scrub. Parthenium weed loves to grow in areas where it has little competition from other vegetation. This includes nice short grassy areas or bare patches where it has room to spread and colonise. Alternatively, Parthenium can hide amongst longer grass undetected for long periods of time. The warning is, be careful, cautious and alert for any signs of the weed. It's worth noting that if there's one plant, there'll be more. So when and where are you likely to come in contact with Parthenium? One place is at home in and around the garden. Those little bare patches between plants, on borders, behind sheds, in corners, wherever there's a little empty space. Sometimes Parthenium will sneak in and around tall bushy plants and grow amongst or underneath them. Likewise, children may bring Parthenium seeds or plant pieces into the garden from other play areas which may then colonise a little patch. Some people will never develop an allergy to Parthenium. Some people will develop an allergy knowingly or otherwise after the first time contact occurs. But certain people are at more risk from developing sensitivity to Parthenium than others. So I went down to him and he did all the pin pricks up my arm and found out that I was allergic to rye grass and paspalum and any sort of grass. Everything that was green and growing I seemed to be allergic to. It comes through the maternal side from my mother who was an asthmatic and she had allergies and her two sisters and the eldest sister had three daughters and they too have allergies and asthma. I <laughs> Allergies to everything but my puppy dog. The earlier you take appropriate management action, the less chance you have of reacting to the plant. Firstly, be aware of your own sensitivities. If you know you have hay fever, asthma or dermatitis type skin reactions, take precautions against potential contact with Parthenium weed. For people who have hay fever, conjunctivitis or other allergic reactions and are not sure what the cause is, Carry antihistamine tablets with you. These will enable you to carry on with whatever you're doing without too much interference. Take one as soon as the first signs of a reaction start to show. Don't wait until the symptoms are so bad that they are affecting your activities. I use an inhaler, Ventolin inhaler, um, to prevent, hopefully to prevent uh, a reaction. If I'm going to mow grass, I take a Claritine tablet and I take um, an inhalation of serotide. Oh, actually, I, I, I have to say that I take Beconase as well. That's a nasal spray. That stops the irritation in your nasal passages. I find that's a big help. And if I'm, um, if the yards are dusty or that, I take that before I start. And I also take Claritine. Carry water with you whenever possible to rinse your face and eyes. Just throw the water over your face as soon as you can after exposure to Parthenium. Use eye drops to wash out your eyes as well. Small vials of eye drops can easily be carried in a pocket. In the flowering season, keep away from any plant or grass pollen that you may be allergic to. Once your immune system has been activated by any allergy, the chances are it will be on high alert for the rest of the summer or flowering period. If you can, cover arms and legs to reduce exposed skin areas. Light, loose cotton clothing is best for comfort. Wearing a mask and gloves when around Parthenium plants, whether in the garden or in the paddock, will help greatly to reduce pollen and plant fragments from getting into your nose, mouth and upper airways. It doesn't matter whether you're trying to remove Parthenium plants from your garden, around your work environment or paddock. There are some basic steps you need to take to protect yourself from contact. Firstly, never ever handle the plant with bare hands. Even though you may have already handled Parthenium without any apparent reaction, you can still develop dermatitis at some stage. Further, you may accidentally rub your face, eyes or mouth with contaminated hands, running the risk of aggravating any hay fever or asthma already present as well as sensitising yourself to Parthenium. At home, you can spray an odd small plant with weed killer such as Roundup, as long as you do this before the plant flowers and before the seeds are spread. Once the plant has flowered, don't try to pull it out, especially if the ground is hard. You will just spread the pollen and seeds. There's a council out there that will spray this for you. Uh, they've got workers. Uh, use them. They'll be using the right equipment, the right gear. They'll have the right um, uh, masks and everything to put on. 
For larger areas of Parthenium around buildings or along roadsides, again, contact your local council.